Add the rest below the brackets to complete each of the following measures. The first time signature is 3-4. This is a simple time signature, which has three beats and every beat equals a quarter. A 16th note quintuplet will equal to four regular 16th notes, which is one quarter. So this is our first beat. In the second beat, we begin with a 16th note. If I add a 16th rest, this will equal to an 8th note, and then the 8th note will complete this first quarter, and then I will add a quarter rest for the third beat. Then we have a double dotted quarter note. The first dot is an 8th note. The second dot is a 16th note. I will need to add a 16th rest. This will equal to a half note or two quarters. So then I need one more quarter rest to complete this bar. The next time signature is 616. This is a compound time signature where we will have three sixteenths in the first beat and then another three sixteenths in the second beat. At the end of the bar, we have a 16th note duplet. This is equal to three regular 16ths, so this is the second beat. For the first beat, I will write a dotted 8th rest. I could also write an 8th rest and a 16th. Both of these answers would be correct. We continue with the same time signature in the second bar. We have two beats, and in every beat we'll have three sixteenths. We have a dotted sixteenth note. If I add a 30 second rest, this will equal to two sixteenths, which is the first two sixteenths in this group. Then I need to add a sixteenth rest, which is the third pulse in this group. And then for this beat, I will use a dotted 8th rest, just like here. I could also write it out as an 8th rest and a 16th rest. Both answers would be correct. On the second line, we have a time signature of 9-8, which is a compound time signature, where we'll have three 8th notes in the first beat, three 8th notes in the second beat, and three eight notes in the third beat. So it is a triple time signature. We start with a group of two 30 second notes, which equal one sixteenth. I need to write another sixteenth rest to complete the first eighths. Then I will write two other eight rests for the second and third pulse of this group. For the second group or second beat, I will use a dotted quarter rest. And the same thing for the third beat or group. Alternately, I can write it out as a quarter rest plus an eighth rest. And same thing here. Both of these answers would be correct. We continue with the same time signature in the next bar and we start at the end, this time, the last group has a 16th note triplet, which would equal to two 16th notes, which equals one eighth. So we have an eighth note here. This would equal an eighth, and that would equal an eighth as well. So that is our third group right here. This eighth note is this eighth note in this group. So we need two more eighth notes and we can write it out as a quarter rest. And this group can be represented just like here with a dotted quarter rest. Or this could also be written out as a quarter and eighth note rest. We continue with a time signature of 3-2, which is a simple time signature. And here, every beat will equal a half note. So three beats, every beat equals a half note. To complete the first half note, I'll use an eighth rest. Here, 
we have a dotted eighth note. I will add a sixteenth rest, and this will give me a value of a quarter note. I will add a quarter rest, and this will complete the last half note. Then I need to write a half rest for the second beat. In the next bar, we'll start from the end. So first we have to complete the last half note. I will write a 16th rest. This will now equal an 8. Then I will add an 8 rest. This will now equal a quarter. Then I will add a quarter. And this will now equal a half note. For the first and second beat, I will write a half rest each. In the second part of the question, we have to add time signature to each of the following measures. I can see a group of 16th notes here and also 8th and 16th here. There will be two 16th in this group and a total of three 16th in this group. Same thing here, where we have a group that would equal to two 16th and here we would have three 16th. So that will be together 5 sixteenths in a bar. This is a mixed time signature, 5 16. And in this bar, we have a double dotted quarter note. So the first dot equals an eighth note, second dot equals a sixteenth. Then we have a sixteenth note. This will give us a quarter. So we have two quarters in the first two notes. So that would be a half note. Then we have two quarters here, that's another half note. A quarter plus two eighth notes, that will be another half note and a half note at the end. That is four two time signature. 